There are basically four lobes of the brain, okay? There are the frontal lobes, okay, which are in the front. That makes sense. If you look here, here are the eyes, the front. Okay, this is the front. Uh, then there is something called the parietal lobe, which is behind the frontal lobe, okay? There's the occipital lobe, which is all the way in the back. And then just sort of here at the bottom, um, under this line here, okay, um, it, which we call the sylvian fissure, this is called the temporal lobe, okay? Most of the temporal lobe actually is deeper, um, but this is the, this is the, the uh, sort of the superficial part of it that you're seeing here on the surface of the brain. Okay. Now, um, each of these areas has a, has a distinct function, okay, and therefore is prone to dysfunction in patients with dementia. I just want to make a point that the term dementia is simply describes a symptom complex that a patient has, which includes memory loss plus another cognitive dysfunction, another area of cognitive dysfunction that progresses over time and affects a patient's ability to function normally uh, in either social or occupational uh, circles. Um, however, the dementia is simply that, a symptom complex, okay? Uh, what we really need to remember is that dementia is always caused by some underlying disease, okay? Be it Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common cause of dementia, or something called Lewy body dementia, which is the second most common cause in some studies. Uh, multiple strokes can lead to dementia, then there are less common causes of dementia, things like frontotemporal dementia uh, and others. But dementia is a symptom complex which is always explained by a disease. So when a patient goes to see the doctor for dementia, the doctor's job is to try to figure out what disease is causing the dementia, okay? Whether it be some degenerative disease, some uh, vascular disease, or perhaps even a metabolic or nutritional disorder uh, or caused by medications, there's always some sort of cause that the doctor needs to investigate.